Hi everyone, this is Natasha. I wanted to share with you a few accessories that I picked up over the last uh, week or so for my um, Nikon um, DSLR. It's the D3200. I showed it in a previous video and I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional photographer. Uh, I'm an amateur that loves to take photographs. Um, are they all fabulous? Um, not, by, not by a long shot. But I do always want to learn something new, so when I receive or purchase a new piece of equipment, I usually do a lot of research, uh, kind of find out its pitfalls, uh, strong suits, and then I just play. Um, it, In particular with uh, digital cameras, it's very easy to play with because you're not really investing in film, so you could certainly try different settings, different medium, different exposures, uh, different lighting, all of that with no cost whatsoever to you because you can just delete the pictures that don't come out the way you want them to. So because of that I decided to pick up a couple of things that I thought would be helpful for me to continue or expand my playing. Um, I love this camera. <laughs> for those of you who follow me on Facebook who have seen recent photographs of some of the food that I prepare with this camera or um, our pets um, just or every day I have a photo that I post on Facebook now called I Spy and some of them are goofy and some of them are poignant and some of them are just an opportunity for me to try a different setting or a different filter so what I wanted to do was to pick up a couple of things just very basic things I'm not investing in another lens this should do me fine for some time what I did pick up is this um, remote control and I believe this was four dollars and ninety nine cents it came with a battery just to pull out the little um, strip, plastic strip that keeps the battery from making contact while it's uh, um, in storage or in transit and it's funny it's called um, Apteco that's isn't Apteco a pharmacy in Russian? It sounds like a Russian word, but now I can't think of which one it is. So it has the instructions. Very, very basic. It tells you where you need to point it, how far, the angle of the lens. Really basic. And then the, it, this particular model is compatible with uh, Nikon's D5000, D9080, D70S, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't say the 3200, but it had that in the listing. Um, when I bought it. And all of these items are from Amazon. Uh, free shipping. Yeah, I believe free shipping on all of them. When I shop on Amazon, and one of the reasons I shop on Amazon is I have Amazon Prime. I just instantly select the Amazon Prime button so I only view items that are Prime shipping for free. The next thing I picked up is a four piece of close up camera lens filter kits. A filter kit, and it comes with four plus one, plus two, plus four, and plus ten adapter filters and the bonus is a filter wallet which is convenient to keep it all in one place so it's just a little plastic or um, vinyl velcroed each of the lenses is in its own little stretch fabric pouch easily accessible and they screw on let me take that off to show you Just like that. And screw on. Try not to touch the actual glass if you can help it. So that was the uh, close up lenses. And then this was a pack deal. This I just received today. So it has this, which is um, a hood for the lens. Also screws on the same way. It came um, with the Vivitara series of filters. And here's the filter information. There are three. There's a UV protection one, and it gives you an example uh, without and with. Um, the circular polarizer filter, without and with. And then the last is the fluorescent filter, without and with. I would, I would imagine these two are probably going to be my more used ones, but I will definitely play with each one. So there they are. There's a screw 
screws on just like that. And the thread's are right here. I'm not going to show it to you because you figured it out. And then that also came with a lens cap and a lens cap attachment kit. So it's a um, elastic piece that goes around the base of your camera behind the at the base of the lens. And then the adhesive part goes onto this so when you take it off you never lose it. It just dangles off the bottom. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use this or not but at least this is a backup lens cover. I'm not a big fan of stuff dangling around especially when I have photographs that I want to take. So there's the three um, filters and then that also came with a little microfiber cleaning cloth. So those are the, and the, the, here's the box for the filters three-piece. And really, um, you don't have to purchase specific items from the brand. Like, I, you see, I, I went off-brand for the filters and for, you know, for the filter kit and um, for the close-up camera lens filters. So long as you um, make sure that it fits your lens, and the lens that I have on is the 52 millimeter. So there you go. Um, if you're interested in seeing more kind of basic things about this camera or kind of my learning process. Again, I'm not a professional. I am just sharing the tools that I'm using and um, kind of the things that I figure out or find out on my own. I did check out a couple of um, ebooks, just the samples on Kindle and one I might actually go ahead and purchase if I can't borrow it from the lending library because it has a lot of really cool step-by-step um, information about the, uh, the camera itself and it is specific to this particular camera and if you have a, cam a different kind of camera just search that on Amazon I bet you will find either a, one of those um, books for dummies or another step-by-step -step instruction one. Don't, uh, don't let something intimidate you from trying something new because I've always loved photography I've always been interested in taking pictures um, and videos and I think I have the first time I ever did a video was of my younger sister's middle school graduation and I had borrowed <laughs> one of those huge AV cameras you actually had a shoulder rest for it so that gives you an idea of how long um, and if I ever show a drawer full of my um, ancient cameras that I have on hand, not ancient like vintage or antique, but you know, within the last 20, 25 years. I do have most of them, the ones that I didn't give to the kids to play with. Um, but it is kind of an interesting path. I've always really enjoyed photography because I think it captures something that you can't always convey with words, you know, the expression, the picture's worth a thousand words. So there you go, plus um, I, I don't know. I, that's my way of conveying what I see. If anyone has any questions or any requests for future videos, uh, particularly for the camera or setup, any of that, feel free to ask because you know, never know. I might put something together. I've done lots of by request videos. As a matter of fact, there's an entire playlist by request. I will make a separate playlist for um, camera. I'm not sure what I'll call it, probably a DSLR uh, camera so I can put them all together. I find that it's much easier to have them organized um, in playlists rather than have to filter through where I have close to 1,400 videos on YouTube. So there you go. And don't forget, you can, um, don't forget to thumbs up. I uh, finally have color on both hands. <laughs> uh, thumbs up, share, uh, save it to your playlist. You can do that to any video that is... Um, publicly listed on YouTube. I'll also include a link to my blog and my Facebook if you don't already follow me so you can see the iSpy photos of the day. Thanks for watching everyone.